Okay, so I've got equal parts of fast set resin. This sets up in 10 to 15 minutes. It's super fast. I just mark my cup with a sharpie and pour equal amounts into my cup. I do B first because it's thinner and then A into it because thicker mixes better into thinner. So instead of just going in a logical AB, you put BA always for mixing. And starting the timer at three minutes. This only takes three minutes to mix and it's like very thick. You see how thick this is? It's like really thick corn syrup that's sat maybe and gotten cool and it's super thick and it gets a little bit easier to mix as time goes by but it's super thick so you have to work with it really fast so I'm going to speed up the rest of the time here Okay, it's been three minutes. Now I'm going to start my stopwatch. Always keeping an eye on time, especially with fast set, which is going to be setting up in 15 minutes tops. Usually 10 is about when you need to stop working on it. But I'm only going to do a solid color and I'm going to do a hand painted tray. But I've got to keep an eye on my time to know when to put my handles into the top uh, to make them stick and be great in the resin for a nice solid hold. So I always make sure to constantly go around the edge of the cup, scraping those edges to make sure there's no residue of A or B, either one, that's on the sides of the cup. Okay, so I want a kind of a soft turquoise background. This is Grace Bay. And I want it pretty opaque. I don't want it transparent at all. So I'm going to try this first. This is dispersion colors. And I do know I want it just a hair deeper. So I'm going to take the Exuma and just put a little drop of that just to deepen it just slightly. These are very strong colors so you can count on it not being transparent anyway unless you just put a little tiny amount into these 12 ounces or so of paint. It might be about 13 ounces of resin, not paint. Okay, so you see it's a little more intense. <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell, it is a little bit more blue than this Grace Bay, and, but not as vivid as this blue. I'm not putting any shimmer, just straight resin. I just want a pretty background color. I don't want to fill this totally full, so that's why I'm just kind of going around and I'm good. So I think I can put most of this in here. I want to leave enough. There's a nice big hair. We have enough space to do a flood coat. I'm going to take these little earring mold here. I'll be back in about 15 minutes, or probably 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, and I can already touch it. I waited too long. 
it literally it's very hot that's one thing I want to make note of but uh, it's not tacky and what I do when I have that issue is I use clear fingernail polish and the reason I don't use like a UV resin that you can cure in like a minute or two is because this is so hot and there's so much chemical reaction going on I don't want to take any chances in something weird happening so to me fingernail polish is just kind of my glue source you could use glue too I just know that this will you know dry clear and you'll never see it when the flood coat goes back on after the paint has dried so I'm gonna stick one right about there I don't ever use screws see how slippery it is see that one's already stuck so once you get them there they're gonna stay You can feel the heat coming off of this. It's amazing. The chemical reaction is just fast, extremely fast. So I'm going to let this sit for about an hour or so until the heat is gone. I want the heat to be gone and then I can embellish with the artwork. So I'll be back and we're going to do something really fun. Okay, so it's been an hour. It's cooled down. It's been a little over an hour and I wanted to show you I got my inspiration from Lily Pulitzer you know a famous name brand wallpaper clothing line everything so if you just want to watch me paint I'm going to show you quickly how I'll do it I'm going to use pop of color paints you can use any brand you want. I got these from Counterculture. And I am going to add just a little bit of a gold accent at the end because these little crystal knobs have a gold bottom to them and it shows through on the top. So I want just a slight accent of gold. So this is not going to be exactly like this. This is just my inspiration. It's got the turquoise background. It's got flowers and green leaves. I'm going to make mine a little bit different. But this is where the inspiration comes from. I'm going to paint everything with acrylics, but this is oil based. And then once it's all dry, I'll flood coat it.
Okay, so there's the hand painting. I'm going to let it sit and dry for a little while and then I'll put a flood coat on it and I'm going to do gold edges to tie the gold in with the handles and on the artwork. And then these are just little mini Lily Pulitzer earrings. I'll, um, I'll probably put... That's pretty cool. What you think? It's fun and playful. Okay, I've mixed up regular medium viscosity resin for the top coat. I like it better because it's just a little uh, thinner than the fast set. I have a little bit more control with it. More working time to get it exactly right. So I've got maybe six ounces here. I'm not sure how much I need to fill up the tray. So I always try to mix a little extra and I can use it for something else. Be back. Okay, so I had to put a second coat after I did the gold. I did a second coat, flood coat of resin to, uh, I had a couple of bubbles which still kind of show through, but I can deal with it. I think it's so adorable. My Lily Pulitzer version resin tray, which is 13 by, I don't know, eight eight inches across roughly um, the little crystal and gold knobs and um, I'm just really pleased with it it's just adorable so what do you think do you like my Lily Pulitzer tray I think I may be doing more of these and I like this shape but I've got lots of shapes for trays, so this doesn't have to be the only one, but it is adorable. It's a great art piece of nothing else in a whimsical style. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll show pictures outside. Thanks so much. Love you all. Bye.